Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a video on unboxing my first ever online order of plants. Before I open it though, I'll give a little backstory on why I decided to order plants online and why I ordered what I did. So I was watching a video about plants as I do almost daily and I saw, and I've seen this plant before, but I saw the Tenanthe Burl Marks Amagris or Amagris. I don't know how to say that last word. Amagris. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, ooh, I, I really want that plant. It's somewhat like a calathea, but supposedly it's easier care and is less fragile. And my calathea has been doing really well. It actually pushed out a new leaf recently. So I was like, I think this plant's super cool and I've been doing well with calathea, so I kind of want it. Okay, this, is gonna, this story's gonna further deepen my craziness, but I'm in this plant Facebook group. <laughs> I put a post out there like, has anyone seen this plant anywhere? Because I've seen it before, but not lately. So I was like, has anyone seen this? Someone commented, I recently got this plant in like a bundle on plantarena.com, <laughs> which is where I got my plants. And so what Plantarena is, is <laughs> she first started out as a YouTuber. That's how I knew her. She started her own like greenhouse I guess she only does online orders like you can't visit her greenhouse but she has one I think in Florida I don't know she's everything I ever want to be <laughs> yeah so she started selling plants online and I I knew that before I ordered this like I knew that a couple weeks or months ago and I was always like oh that'd be cool but I never thought I'd be the type of person to order plants online because I was like I don't get the point but here I am right now. I ended up following through with what that Facebook person had said and I ordered what she did online because she said hers turned out great. They're little mini like two inch pots. There's three of them. It's called the Eclectic Trio. And I'll just, I won't tell you what it comes with. I'll just pull them out as they go and then I'll tell you about it. I'm very excited about all three things and I'll just talk about them as I go. Oh, okay. But anyways, yeah, so that's the backstory. I wanted a Tananthe and I ended up ordering three plants. I'm so excited. I don't know what to expect. I hope they're alive. I ordered them two days ago, I want to say. I ordered them Sunday night, and today is Wednesday. But I ordered it late on Sunday knowing the order wouldn't go through till Monday. So it took two days to get here. I paid, it's 10 or it's 9 95 or something like that. Basically 10 extra dollars to have like heat or like a winter packaging basically so this is what it looks like and I'm assuming this is part of the winter packaging just because I'm in Colorado now ironically it's been very warm the past two days like it's currently like 53 out so I probably didn't need to order the winter packaging but I did and it's already here so that's fine oh it's gonna be so loud oh okay this is what I see Okay, oh my gosh, this is exciting. I am excited. I was having a very bad day today, so this, this was needed. So the first thing I see is this, which I will take out first. So this is what it's like. Ooh, it smells like warm cardboard. <laughs> I see a little package. This is like soggy a little bit, this like cardboard. Um, and then there's a little stake in it, which is interesting. Yeah, it's definitely like damp, everything. Like the twine string is, the little, the, this piece of paper is damp. But that's probably good because that means they didn't get too dry. So, I don't know. Like I said, I've never ordered anything online. I don't know what the rules are. Okay. Okay, the fun thing about ordering plants online is like unwrapping them. It's like Christmas for yourself. I'm trying to be so careful right now. Okay. Ta-da! Look at how cute! <laughs> it's so small! Look at this pot! That is so small. I don't think I've ever bought a plant, and I'm about to have three plants that are so incredibly tiny. I just wanted to see. Isn't this fun? Look it! <laughs> Look at how small the little pot is. I know. So, this is a parlor palm. Whenever I move out of this apartment and I have taller ceilings in a larger house, the big plant that I want is a palm. I don't know why, but I think palms are just gorgeous. I have a sago palm. 
I've seen ponytail palms, but more palms like this, they just amaze me. I don't know why. So when I saw that this was in the eclectic trio, I was like, oh, that's perfect. Like, obviously this isn't a house size plant like I eventually want. This little two inch guy, it will be a good start that I'll be able to learn its needs and things like that. Now, like I said, these, the eclectic trio, the only option for me was to get the mini size. So there's no getting somewhat larger plants. So I don't know if that'll become available eventually or what what have you, but all these are the mini size and that I didn't get to choose. And I should say too, the total was $30 and then $10 for the winter thing. So each plant was $10, which I know this might seem like a lot, but they give you like a little, I'm assuming for all plants, a little guide. So this is low water, bright indirect light, average humidity. The person on the Facebook group, she repotted hers right away in like a four inch terracotta pot. And I don't know if I wanna do that. I would like to, cause I feel like this is a little, it looks a little dinky. Having a bit larger pot might be nice, but I also don't wanna shock it either, so. The pot is wrapped with this like saran wrap that I will unwrap right now. So that's nice, so the soil doesn't fall out. Yeah, so the pot's very wet. And here's the little root sticking out. Can you see it? The little root right there. Great, I'm gonna set this off to the side now. The next one, I can see the name already, so it's a little bit of a spoil. So this is also a little bit damp, so that tells me that the plant won't also need to be watered. This is the one that I personally was least excited about. Ooh, I got a little peek of it. <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da -da -da! You can't really see it, but I sure can. So this is a coral syngonium. Oh, so the leaves look a little less in shape than the other one. They're a little crunchy, a little curly, some of them. I think Syngoniums are cool. I've never sought out to buy one. It's slightly pink. And I personally would never buy this on my own, but having already owning it, I'm excited about it. I will try to show you my best right here. So this is what it looks like. It's just slightly pink. This leaf is definitely the most pink. So there are some of these leaves that are like crunchy or curly, and I don't know what that's about. I don't know if they're gonna die. So this plant's not in the best shape, if I'm being honest. Um, like this one has like holes in it, but some of the top leaves are doing pretty good. So it's not perfect, but that's okay. Like this, let me show you a close up of the palm. I didn't really do that. Here we go. This one's perfect. There are absolutely no brown leaves, no bent or anything. Like this is like a perfect plant, like the perfect shipment. So this one I'm very happy about. This one I'd give like three out of five. Oh yeah, the soil is like sopping wet. I wonder why, I wonder if they do that so that way it doesn't dry out, but this the leaves are crunchy on this, so. But yeah, so it's really cute. It's just, yeah, it's not in perfect shape. What are you gonna do? So yeah, a coral syngonium also known as an arrowhead plant. So, Syngonium. Medium water, low to bright indirect light, and average humidity. And they also have a complete guide on their website that I'm gonna read. Let's now open, let's see, that's just tissue. Oh, here I bet, oh yeah, so here was the heat pack. And it's no longer warm, but I'm sure it was at one point. <laughs> the last, but not at all least. This is the one everyone knows about. Let's get this little guy out of here. This one is also damp. So it says on the thing like, yeah, if it is dry water it, but I definitely don't have that issue. They are all very wet. Here I go. Ah. So packaging pretty good. I don't have, <gasps> whoa, I just got a little peek. Oh my gosh. This is for sure the one I'm most excited about. The Syngonium opens so easily. Why can't you be like the Syngonium? Oh my gosh, look at it. <gasps> it's doing so well. Oh, okay, let's get you that close up shot, baby. So here's what it looks like. Look at how beautiful. So it's like this blue-ish green almost, and then dark green veins. And then the underside is purple, which is pretty typical of like the prayer plant family. Here's one damaged leaf. But all the other leaves are doing really well. It's really upright, but that's just the way it was packaged. There's also, where did I see it? I don't know if you can see this little tube right here. That's a new leaf unfurling, which is really good. I don't know if this is the best thing to go off of, but I always, like if I'm buying a plant, 
at a greenhouse, I always go for plants that are putting out new growth because to me it's like, oh, they're healthy, like they're liking their life. To see that new growth is very encouraging because this plant is the reason I spent $40 on <laughs> two inch pots. <laughs> now, if you're watching this before I repot it, please let me know if I should repot it. I feel like these aren't as cute as they could be if they're in fun pots and I have small fun pots, so. Okay, prayer plant. I already know how to take care of them because I have that calathea right there, but this is medium to high water, low to bright indirect light and above average humidity. So this guy, no matter what, is gonna go right here because this is like the plants I like humidity, my rubber tree, my monstera, and my calathea. So it's gonna go there no matter what. It gets bright. It's right next to an east window, so it gets bright light. So that's, I already know where this guy's going. Look at how cool the leaves are. I'm excited once this like, hopefully it kind of loosens up and it's not so upright. Look at that. It's so beautiful. A Tenanthe Burl Marks Amagris. Amagris. <laughs> That's one I'm going to have a hard time remembering. I usually do pretty well. Here are my three new friends. So yeah, this is $40. <laughs> I would definitely recommend Plantarina as a online store. They do really well. They guarantee, they only ship in the US, I think, but they guarantee one to three day shipping and mine took two, so it's right in the middle. Again, I do, I've never ordered anything online before, but for, I've watched people unbox from online and this was amazing. The Syngonium's in like, okay shape, but both of these are in great shape. These are my plants. I hope this unboxing was fun to watch. I like watching them. Okay, hello, it's me again. So I realized I shouldn't repot them right away and maybe I will once it rolls around springtime, but for now I don't want to just because I want them to have the best chance of living. I have these four small pots that I think I'll just use as like cash pose, like basically, and not actually plant it and like leave it in the nursery pot, but then put it in here. So I might just do like that one. That looks kind of cute, doesn't it? I feel like this guy would look good in this one maybe. Ooh, that's not a bad look. I also have this cute little teapot. So I just wanted to quick record that this is what I'm gonna do instead. Okay, great. I'm excited. Let me know if I should repot these guys because I have no idea. And I guess that's it. That's the end of the video. <laughs> okay, bye.